Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Invest Today. Today we're talking about the Q3 earnings call from Alibaba that just came out today. We're gonna break some of it down very quickly because people are just overcomplicating the Alibaba thesis. What's gonna make this Baba bet actually successful? You know I own a lot of Alibaba. It's like 20% of my portfolio at this point. And people are just going crazy over this section and that section, but don't realize what's really gonna make Alibaba work over time. And that's what we're really focused on when we're buying Alibaba because we're just focused on the business and the business results and what's gonna drive the future of Alibaba. When we look at Alibaba's business, we gotta find out what is gonna drive the business going forward. And when we really break it down like that, there's three segments that I'm really gonna focus on, I'm really gonna look at. It's the international commerce section, which grew 44% year on year, which is actually pretty amazing for Q3. Then we have the main business, the Chinese e-commerce business, Taobao and Tmall, that grew around 2% year over year, which is not that good, but at least you're trying to make moves to improve this. Then we had the cloud segment that only grew 3% again, which is not that good. But these are the three businesses that are gonna drive the majority of the growth going forward into Alibaba. And you have to understand the competitive landscape right now is the customers are actually going for lower end products. And that's where PDD is so successful. That's why they're competing so hard against Alibaba. People are looking for more value at lower prices. As the economy is still weak, the demand is not there as it was before. So you have these two twin engines working pretty much against Alibaba. This is pretty much where you see Alibaba's dominance not as sufficient as it was before. So what is the CEO, what is the management gonna do about this, right? So we have to believe in the management's words or at least see the progress maybe in a year, in a two years, maybe next quarter, whatever kind of leeway you wanna give the management, maybe you don't believe in the management next quarter, if it doesn't kind of climb back up, then you kind of sell your shares, whatever it is. But you have to, in my opinion, you have to give them some kind of leeway to kind of get very competitive again, because they're seeing kind of the faults of the previous CEO and what he was doing wrong. So that's where we have to kind of open our minds to and understand the business and the business segments. So when we go through this earnings call, we have to be like, okay, do we accept what he's saying? Do we believe in the vision that the CEO has for the company? Because if we don't, like, we are screwed for Alibaba. We are screwed. It's basically gonna be a value trap. So if they can kind of revitalize Alibaba and kind of rewrite the ship and get it back on track, then we're all good with Alibaba. So it just depends on how you see things going forward. Let's look at what Eddie said about the business. We took a deep look at our core business operations and competitive landscape. We concluded that to maintain our competitive edge, we increase our investment in core capabilities and adopt more aggressive approach towards competition in order to win growth. Our top priority is to reignite the growth of our two core businesses, e-commerce and cloud computing. And that's what I'm saying from the beginning. That's what they're focusing on. That's why they're selling businesses. That's why they're reducing their employees because they're just focusing on these two main businesses right now. During the quarter, the execution of our user first and competitive pricing strategies in Taobao and Tmall Group was effective, resulting in healthy year over year GMV growth as the number of active buyers and order volume for the robust increased. The number of merchants continued to grow at a double digit rate. And I elaborate on the outlook, the plans of 2024. In cloud computing, we are committed to our strategy of prioritizing public cloud. We have proactively optimized our business structure, reduced revenue from projected base contracts, and increased investment in public cloud products. These structural adjustments are showing results in Alibaba's cloud overall profitability and capability continues to improve. You have to understand what Alibaba is doing in this situation. It's becoming more competitive and more focused. And that's what I like to see because they are showing improvements in GMV and order volume, and they're showing double digit rate growth in the number of merchants. So we see this as like, damn, okay, so they are improving. And that's what I like to see. They're also saying their public cloud services is increasing. They're getting more customers in that sphere and they're getting away from the one-off projects. They're looking on the return on their investments in these sections and they're seeing improvements. So that's the positive sign as we understand that the cloud segment 
and the commerce segment in China domestically is going to drive a lot of growth going forward for Alibaba. So Alibaba is telling you this is how they're going to improve their business and this is where their investments are going into because they are ramping up investments and they want to see return on their investment eventually in the sections and how they're looking at the business. So let's see what they're going to be doing with the money and our money and how it's going to work for Alibaba. The first thing they talk about is product supply. We will increase our investments in growing the selection of branded and products and direct for manufacturer products in a Taobao Tmall platform. This will further strengthen our product supply advantages to better address new consumption trends and demands to competitive pricing and efficiency. We will increase investment in product sourcing capabilities, optimizing business model relationships between merchants and our platform. For different types of suppliers, we'll offer flexible business models that are best suited to improve their operational efficiency and thereby enhance Taobao's value proposition. Three, quality service. We will work with our merchants and logistics partners to invest, improving the entire consumer service experience, including pre-sale, in-sale, post-sale, and logistics. So this is what they're going to be doing overall to improve Alibaba. So do we believe that they can achieve this? Because if they can achieve this, we can kind of see Alibaba going back to that 7 to 10% range of revenue growth for that e-commerce section domestically. And that's what we need for the overall business to succeed, in my opinion. On top of the cloud growth, how they're going to go more into the public sector and just focus on stronger customers. Let's see how that turns out. Let's see how that plays out. That's what we can be looking forward to going into the next quarter. Let's see how that is advancing and how they're improving on that. Are they getting more GMV? Are they getting more customers in cloud? Let's see what they talk about next quarter. We already have international growth growing 44%. They have Alibaba choice. So I'm not as concerned in that section because that section is going crazy right now. AliExpress is killing it. Trendable is killing it. Zada is killing it. Even though they're kind of lost leading, they are looking to monetize it sooner. You improve the efficiency soon. So I'm not too concerned with that section because that section is going to grow, especially as they're doing heavy investments in that section. We are trying to focus on the core, on what's driving the free cash flow, the profits right now. So, guys, do you believe in this direction that Alibaba is going? They're getting rid of all the non-core assets and their products, and they're not focusing on that. As they said, they're going to focus on e-commerce, which is probably international and domestic, and cloud. So we have to see those improving heavily, maybe next quarter, quarter after, a year from now. I don't know what it is, but we got to see those places making moves if we want to kind of get Alibaba back on track to that 200 a share. 300 400 so guys what do you think about this video like this video and leave your comments down below and tell me what you think peace